If I could get teachers to see a couple things in math, it would be a few. It would be one of them would be um, basically they're really math really can be easy. Most people again are not thinking about numbers the right way. Teach a kid to break them down early and you got a kid that has a chance to be good in math. Now one of the most important things is to fix kids up is counting. I say in my workshops, counting is the root of all evil. Most kids and most people are doing some form of counting in their head. They're either counting in their head or they're counting on their fingers. When a person counts, they're taking numbers and they're breaking them into ones. So they're thinking about numbers as all ones. Turns out when the numbers get big, it's the worst way to think about a number. So we got to get kids to first of all learn how to break numbers down in better ways than ones. For instance, if I say the number 10, do I want a kid to be thinking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? No. I want them to think 5 and 5, 6 and 4, 7 and 3, 8 and 2, 9 and 1. I want a kid to be able to break down numbers. Second thing, to be a good math teacher, you have to be good at content knowledge. So it's not about having tons of different activities for your kids to do in the classroom. If you yourself aren't comfortable deep down with math content, I don't think you can ever be a good math teacher because what you end up doing is taking a very concrete approach to teaching. You end up teaching very specific tricks, facts, and formulas, and it turns out that's the exact opposite of what math is. Math is about abstract, algebraic thinking, which means you're not focusing on specifics, you're focusing on general, generalizable concepts. And so teachers really have to improve their own content knowledge before they can ever hope to be really good math teachers.